So it was time for our host to find its own dedicated spot on the wall. And after browsing a bit on the internet and looking at off-the-shelf products for hanging it, I realized I can probably spend a good Saturday and just use some round tubing that I had available in the garage and make my own one. Albeit a slightly beefed up version of, of what's needed and required and out there, it was fun nonetheless. So I tried to keep the shape interesting and give it, giving it some chamfer profiles. I just cut all the, all the trims to size and gauged it by eye. Nothing serious, no serious measurements and precision engineering. The idea was more to just fill up the gaps with the welding. Although the, the cutting came out pretty smooth and worked out pretty well, I still, I still eyed it, most of it. So after just tack welding all the hanging brackets together, we just ended up with a, with a beefed up thing that might as well have been a, a bull bar for a truck. But we hung it on the wall and hung our hose over it. Um, I used stainless steel welding rod. It's just an easier product to weld, especially with, with hollow tube, although this is a thicker wall tube. Either way, I had the stainless. It worked well. I'm not the best welder, obviously, in the world, but um, I always allow for a bit of cleanup. Yeah, I bent the profile, or I made an interesting profile for the top, just to just to keep it easy on the eye to an extent. So, just cutting the tube into wedges and then bending it closed to give the shape that I wanted. Just a bit of a rounded, I guess a combination of rounded and angular shape. And then I eyeballed the, the angle for the intersections of the hanger brackets to the front. That worked out pretty nicely. I had the Sasquatch over there just uh, witnessing all the activities. But after being satisfied with, with all the measurements, I tackled everything together again and started doing the full welds. Just checking the measurements again before fully committing to weld. So I tried not to heat up the, the pipe in, in single spots too much. So I tacked all over the place in, in just alternating sequence. Yeah, I notched the pipe, so this is just a, a thought out method on the spot of, of just trimming the pipe to size to, to be notched perfectly over, or perfect is relative, um, but to be forced over the, the profile of the other pipe. So this is just a middle brace. And after tacking that in place, I started making the mounting plates themselves, where, which gets mounted to the wall. Um, so I just used a piece of off-cut angle iron and cut a few flat bar sections out of it. I decked it, drilled some holes into it. The welds bent it open a little bit, I just knocked it flat again on the other edge before decking the, the opposite end. And then drilling the pilot holes. Everything once again just eyeballed, um, but it came out pretty nicely. And then just going to final size, and after that I just cleaned up the hole, deburring everything. then once again to stick with the theme I chamfered all the corners here again and giving it a consistent look and feel not to 
remove some flux and after that I cleaned up some, some welds and I ended up just deburring the rest of it with a file I painted it with a direct to rust metal paint and that worked out pretty nicely, it's pretty forgiving paint it's, it ends up smooth and after just measuring out the holes I drilled the holes the masonry bit and I hung the bracket with, with plugs for six plugs so it would be plenty strong and I could at long last get my hose off of the newly laid tiles and have it in its place and have things tidy again around the house. Mm -hmm. 